and a good Tuesday afternoon to you. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your midday Arklamas update. Louisiana legislators are returning to the Capitol today for a veto override session that will likely overturn the governor's decision against anti-LGBTQ plus legislation. NBC 10's Nick Summer has all that information on the session. Well, the headline grabbers are, of course, the, the ones that are being framed as being anti-LGBTQ. Uh, but th there are so many other things the governor vetoed that actually have a, a far bigger impact on the lives of uh, the average Louisiana. In fact, there's the three bills that are being uh, framed that way. Uh, first of all, they, they are really solutions in search of a problem. The Republican-dominated legislature passed bills that ban transgender medical procedures on children and require parents to submit a form for their child to use a name other than the one on their birth certificate. Queer advocacy groups fought against those measures. This being an election year, any lawmaker who is up for re-election and doesn't vote to override these vetoes uh, could have a rough go of it come October. Another bill attempted to ban the discussion of gender identity in classrooms, which is Louisiana's version of what LGBTQ plus activists say is the equivalent to Ron DeSantis's Don't Say Gay bill. There, there are so many other things the governor vetoed uh, that, that really have uh, a more vital impact on uh, the lives of Louisianans. And it's no secret that it was a punitive step uh, against lawmakers who didn't go along with his agenda in the last session. Governor Edwards vetoed the anti-LGBTQ plus bills and said that passing the litigation could have negative impacts on the queer and trans community and also raise suicide rates. The issue of what pronouns uh, children use in schools, uh, well, I, I understand why that's a, an important issue to some people. Uh, that, that really is not going to have that much of an effect on very many people. Uh, moreover, those, those uh, anti-LGBT uh, bills some of them are extremely poorly constructed, and they're just an invitation to, to litigation. Well, a series of severe storms uh, moved through South Arkansas over the weekend that was causing widespread power outages across the area. You're looking at video submitted by a Union County resident who caught this metal roof getting swept off the Parker's Chapel softball press box. That was Sunday afternoon. According to Intergy officials, thunderstorms and strong winds cut power for 21,000 customers. New information, Moreau PD's booking is moving to the Washita Correctional Center. According to officials, Monroe Police Department's booking will move from 700 Wood Street to the Washita Correction Center. Officers confirmed the temporary phone number for the booking will be 318 8015069 And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. A heat advisory will be in effect for the entire Arkansas as we go into this afternoon. Heat index values will climb well into the triple digits near 110 degrees. So be extra careful if you're going to be out and about for this afternoon. Remember to stay hydrated. Temperatures will be mainly in the upper 90s. And just remember to stay hydrated. Take frequent breaks when work or exercise. And it's going to stay hot and humid even all the way up through 5 and 6 o'clock later on this evening. And even as we go overnight tonight, it's still going to stay a bit muggy. We are expecting a high of 99 degrees for the daytime high. Unfortunately, it's not going to feel like that. It's going to feel more like 110. And for tonight, as we go into the overnight hours, we'll see a low about 78 degrees, mostly clear, but it's just going to stay muggy. Winds will be out of the south about 10, 15 miles per hour. As we go into tomorrow, temperatures will be right back where we will be for this afternoon. It's been a high of 99 degrees. Once again, it's going to be another hot day with plenty of sunshine. And it's also going to remain humid. And it's going to stay hot and humid pretty much all week long until we get into the weekend. Well, we could start to see a relief from the heat as rain chances and scattered showers, thunderstorms return to our area and we'll be dropping us down to the lower 90s and we could possibly stay in the lower 90s on Monday but could be back to the mid 90s as we go into the mid part of next week so just got to get through this week and get into the weekend where we can start to see some relief from this very hot and humid conditions and we'll see our low stay generally in the upper 70s but then they'll be dropping down to the lower 70s along those state time high temperatures as we go through the weekend. Please, please, please take care of your pets outside. Uh, they feel the heat just like you do. That's it for our update. NBC News Daily continues now. God bless you. Check on the neighbor, please.